Hello and welcome to Asia Calling, your window on Asia. In today's program, the political dynasties that dominate politics in the Philippines. And young people in Malaysia fighting to have their voices heard ahead of the election. And Pakistani women paying a high price for asking for a divorce. Welcome to the program, I'm Rebecca Hinschke. Philippines will go to the polls in May to vote in the country's midterm national elections. The majority of people who are running for office are part of families who have entrenched themselves in politics. Brothers, wives, uncles, children, Philippine politics is dominated by political dynasties. And even if one of them is very publicly disposed, they're not out of power for very long. Joe Feltisorio reports from Palawan. It's political season once again in the Philippines. Looking through the list of candidates here, there are very few new surnames and many familiar ones. Lawyer and NGO leader Jerdy Mayo Anda says these political dynasties are not good for democracy. To me, it's bad for the country because if you talk about the same people from the same family running the affairs of uh, government and doing local governance, it's, it's like a business no? that you want someone to inherit it from you. And that, to me, prevents us from achieving a dynamic form of governance where you want people from different sectors with different perspectives uh, being able to engage with, with the local communities, with the voters. So, so to me, it's a cause for concern if, if that trend uh, becomes stronger in the next few years. According to a survey conducted by the Asian Institute of Management in Manila, political dynasties reign in the Philippines. These dynasties have tightened their grip on power and continue to monopolize national and local positions, making it very hard for young people who do not have a family name that comes with money, influence, and power to enter politics. Now he wouldn't she or he would not have a chance. Uh, it's, it's, it sounds probably pessimistic, but I'm being pragmatic, Ariel, in the context of our traditional politics in the Philippines and in Palawan. I think what needs to be done by him or her is to really build a constituency. That means if I'm, let's say, 20 years old now and I want to run for governor or mayor in the next 12 years, I think you have to build a base. That's just what 37-year-old Luis Marcaide III is trying to do in order to become vice mayor. He doesn't have relatives in politics, and he is up against the nephew of the incumbent mayor. Three other members from the same family are running for local positions. Luis has spent 21 years as a leader in a key youth federation. And he is hoping that the conducts and skills he gained during that time will win him the election. He is also highlighting his age. Advantages, no? There are advantages of being young. And another is uh, during campaign periods, of course, you can campaign for, uh, for um, a lot, uh, much a longer time. No? Kaya mo mang campaign for a longer period of time. Uh, you can uh, introduce fresh ideas. Um, and of course, physically you're strong because there are certain qualifications, I believe, for an individual to become a, uh, a leader. Uh, one of these is that you have the heart to serve. Another is that uh, you have the true intention to serve. And the last is you have the physical ability, the physical capacity to perform your functions. Another young leader who wants to try to get into politics is Idalberto Magpayo. Like Marcaida, Magpayo doesn't have political pedigree or money to run a campaign. He is banking on the network that he built when he was working in an environmental non-government organization. Yung isa sa natutunan natin sa non-government organization ay kung paano maghimok yung mga tao sa komunidad na maging bahagi ng tinatawag na participatory governance. Na kung saan bahagi tayo ng pagundad, bahagi tayo ng pag-gobyerno, at yan ang uh, itinuturo natin at iginagabay sa ating mga kapwa komunidad na malaki ang role din nila. Uh, Kung baga, magiging tulay tayo no, sa ating mga community na mag-participate po tayo sa, sa programang pag-gobyerno. Magpayo is running for the city's council of legislators. He is running independently, 
which makes campaigning even more difficult and costly. Sa tingin ko ako ay hindi ko maiisasabi ako ay isang traditional politician. Masasabi ko ako ay isang bagitong kandidato pero sa serbisyo ay garantisado. Dahil yan ay itinuro ng uh, ng aking uh, NGO na pinasukan ano na maliit man ang pondo mo na hawak pero at ang puso mo naman ay nasa tamang paglilingkod at ang programa ay nakakaabot sa community. However, there are all plenty of other young candidates like Matthew Mendoza that are banking on their family's legacy. He wants to fulfill his long-held dream to be in politics, like his grandfather, who was the first governor of Palau, and his father, who was mayor in the late 80s. He wanted to enter politics right after college, but he became a model and an actor instead. Sabi natin hindi bento sa pilado, pero narating ko yung stage ko na ito sa pagiging artista at naniniwala yung tao sa akin. Oo, lahat tayo may ano eh. Uh, basta nakita naman nila na ala nag nag nagsumikap ka inalagaan mo pangalan mo hindi mo dinumihan at uh, ma mausay ka makiharap sa tao sigurado yan he is hoping his name will help pagdating siguro sa akin ah, ma magaling yan tapos magaling din yung naging performance ng mga ano niyan ng tatay niya ng lolo niya ng uncle niya sa politics so kung baga ba pagpipilian kayo parang may point yung nakita nila yung family mo eh maganda yung nagawa. Others would like to see an end to the Philippines' culture of political dynasties. It's a disturbing trend. Uh, we have seen that in the last few years, no? Ariel, and, and I think it's important that we start to enlighten the electorate, uh, the communities, no, the, the voters here, that there's actually a chance for every Palawenyo to put himself or herself forward, think of a good agenda, and then and get support. But I think the fact that you have uh, a growing number of political dynasties prevents that trend from happening. And that's why I'm, I'm disturbed with that, because I says, as I said, uh, political dynasties, you know, makes a business out of governance. With Ariel Carlos from Palawan, Philippines, this is Joe Feltisorio for Asia Calling.